Microsoft just denied that the KB5063878 update bricks SSD. They said their telemetry data and internal tests showed no increase in drive failures or file corruption. If they're telling the truth, what's behind all these reports of SSD failures? Do we still need to be concerned about this update? Well, a common symptom is the computer freezing suddenly, showing a blue screen, then restarting. After that, it may fail to boot or enter BIOS, and your boot drive won't be detected. This might actually explain why Microsoft's telemetry data isn't showing an increase in faulty drives. You know, the hard drive just vanishes. Windows can't even write an error report, which probably means Microsoft Microsoft can't get any data. According to earlier reports, writing large amounts of data could trigger the SSD to disappear. But Fison said they did 4,500 hours of testing and they couldn't reproduce the problem. So here's where things get interesting. Just a few days ago, Jay's Two Cents posted a video where he actually managed to reproduce the SSD disappearing issue, but it was triggered while running a benchmark instead of writing large files. Also, I noticed some interesting theories. There are users claiming that their hard drives becoming inaccessible might be linked to BitLocker or high SSD temperatures. Well, from what we see here, there could be more hidden triggers that nobody's really figured out yet. Anyway, Microsoft says it's fine, and Fison can't reproduce the issue, but users are still seeing it. I'd say it's better to be safe than sorry. According to a test report from a Japanese user, SSDs equipped with Fison and AND controllers are the most likely to be affected, but other brands can be too. If you don't know your SSD model, open Device Manager and go to Disk Drives, or just use Crystal Disk Info, it got more detailed info. Even if yours isn't listed, it's still better to stay cautious. If you actually come across this issue, most times a full power cycle will bring your SSD back, but sometimes the drive will end up raw, and you'll lose data. In that case, you can try the Lost Partition Rescue feature in Easiest Data Recovery Wizard. It can scan and recover your lost partitions and data in it. I've added the link in the description, so if your drive gets like this, give it a try. There's nothing to lose anyway. That's a cold one. So much for that, as I suggested earlier, it's safer to uninstall this update to reduce any chance of problems. Normally, we can just go to Settings, Windows Update. Let's pause the update for a while so that it won't reinstall the update automatically. Then, head to Update History, Uninstall Updates, and choose KB5063878. You might see a message saying it can't be uninstalled, but thanks to Theojo, he figured out a fix. Press Windows and R to open the dialog box, then enter this to open Programs and Features. In this window, click Turn Windows Features On and Off to open Windows Features. Then we scroll down. Here it is, Windows Sandbox. Disable it and click OK here. Now you should be able to uninstall the update. If that still doesn't work, search for Command Prompt and run it as administrator here. Type in this command line and hit Enter, see if it works. So that's about it. If you come across any fresh ideas or theories, feel free to drop them in the comments.